Another day, another fixing in the van. I think Ford is starting to live up to its name. Fix or repair daily. My parking brake is broken. It's supposed to be attached and have like a little ratcheting system. And when I pull the lever, it'll like snap back on. It's not snapping now. My tools are buried behind the uh, sparkling water. <laughs> it reminds me that I have to put some sparkling water in there. This is van life for real. Look at all the stuff that I had to take out to be able to even grab the first uh, toolbox. This is my gym bag. That's some almonds. <laughs> my bed is not made because I'm actually getting ready to do some laundry. Big day today. That's right. I got the big guns out. This is the cable. It's not broken, which is nice. As you can see, it's not broken. You can see the end here, maybe. There we go. But it came out of the ratcheting system there. Hopefully that's not bent anywhere there. But in order for me to actually be able to even see what's going on and reattach, I have to take this whole system out. And it looks a little complicated. It has these small little nuts. There's one here, there's one there, and there's one all the way up there, which is probably gonna be the hardest one to get to. But after that, taking the sensor out, and I think that should be pretty much it and I'll be able to actually get a better look at this. Wish me luck. Before I go any further, I just wanna disclose that I'm not a professional. This is not a, exactly a how-to video. It's more like how I am attempting to do it. It should at least give you some of you an insight or help you a little bit to see that sometimes you can probably fix things yourself. You don't have to go to the mechanic. I got all three bolts out and let me tell you, the last one up there, well, <laughs> got mechanics hands. I just realized there's a reason why mechanics charge so much per hourly rate because there is a lot of stuff that is really hard to get to and sometimes impossible. Especially for me, because I don't know what I'm doing. It's probably easy for a mechanic. If they've done it a hundred times and know what they're doing. For the first time, I think I was at the last bolt for at least half an hour. <laughs> I got it out. Hopefully I can put it back in if I have the patience. Well, it's much easier with this panel off. Why didn't I think of that first? Anyways, it's off the bolts. Okay, it's out. So basically I had to take this piece off, which is like the step over here, the plastic step. I had to take this. It's not off, but I had to like, take it out of its place. And then finally I was able to take the piece, which is the brake. And I'm looking where this cable is supposed to come. And it's supposed to basically like latch right here, but I can see that it's bent a bit. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I don't think it's supposed to be bent like this. The little channel there, so and it's also bent a bit on this side. Let's see, let's uh, see if I can put it back on there basically. So I ended up going to the mechanic. It ended up being a harder job that I can manage with the tools that I have, with the space that I had to do it in. And quite frankly, I don't think I could have fixed the old uh, brake mechanism. Let's see what we got here. I got my spec sheet. Brake mechanism itself was 168, let's say 170 dollars. And then labor was 210. And whatever taxes was uh, added on there, like 13 bucks. So it ended up being like 341 dollars and 38 cents. Now I went to a mechanic that I know and trust with jobs like these. I have learned my lesson when I went to different mechanics that were cheaper in labor, whatever parts they were getting. But I ended up regretting it and having to go back to this mechanic that I went to 
today. Now I know to go straight to this guy if I'm around because one, they're gonna use a better part. They're also like a, you know, a family business and my family goes there as well. So they did a great job. The part feels really good, guys. Like it's actually, it doesn't ratchet anymore. It's like higher end, I feel. So basically, the old one, when I would step on it, it would go like My sound design, my sound effects are not very good when I make them, but basically it would ratchet down. But this one, this one, listen, it doesn't do that. It's like a, like a higher end and it's still pretty sturdy. It feels the same when I pull the brake level, but I'm pretty happy with it so far. It seems like flawless. They did a pretty clean job. Jobs like these, even though I have some tools, I think tensioning a big vehicle like Ford, Ford, uh, this is a really, like, it's a 350. So some of the stuff is always gonna be more expensive than a Ford car or like a smaller vehicle. And it has to be done right because it's heavy. And I use the parking brake because of that. I don't trust to just put my vehicle in park. I'm sure some of you are gonna say like, just put it in park, it should be fine. I rather not do that because I do go in some sketchy hills and stuff like that. Another solution would have been to get like some, some of those tire stoppers or whatever you call them that you put next to the tire if you're like close to a hill. It would probably work out in the wild, which I'm not always there. I just want the van to be top notch when I go play. I want to trust it, you know what I mean? I don't want to feel like I'm going somewhere and things might break. Some of the things that, you know, I, I can wing it. And yeah, it's not cheap to fix something like that. $340 is uh, a lot of money. I have money saved up just for those instances so I can fix it. I don't want to drag it more than I need to because I don't want to get in bigger problems. Also, as you may have noticed while I was driving down to this park to film, <laughs> my shower curtain rod fell off. Just gotta fix that really quick. It's super simple. It just basically twists and turns and then We'll put it back on. I also don't like this version of doing this. I have a rack that I need to put up here, but I have other things in mind before I put that on. I actually kind of want to change this whole curtain system, like the material and all that stuff. It's kind of old, it's getting a little dirty. And I haven't been able to make some time to look for one. And as soon as I find what I need, I'm actually gonna install that track right here. And then this is gonna go away. This is also annoying when I drive with my windows open. It keeps on like flapping on my like head. It's gonna be a much nicer, much cleaner system. And it's also gonna work a lot better. Yeah. I want to say I think it's going to be holding up. My only worry is that hopefully it doesn't fall off in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping and I don't realize until the morning. Because in that case, somebody passing by, they can maybe peek inside a bit better and kind of see that this is a camper. It hasn't really happened often. Like I said, it just happens like once in a while when I drive with the windows open. Sometimes it also happens when I put the seat forward and then push it back. I usually do that when I'm camping long term because I want to have the most space back here. So that might happen as well. Check out this video if you want to watch more van life related content. Binge watch them all if you want. I have a few videos out there, something for everybody. And I will see you in the next one.